I said it in the post fight scrum that it was Brad, and they said he called me out or something. And I was like, I haven't seen it yet, so I don't understand where they got that from. Um, mm-hmm. Nothing happened really. I'm like Goku in a way. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> excuse, the excuse the comparison, but like, where I want to fight the you know the the tough guys, the guys that are coming up, the young tough guys, you know the old dogs as well who have got the experience, the skills. I want to fight the best, you know, and. During breakfast one morning, I you know I just said what's up because uh, his trainer's Ray Sefo, so I said what's up to him. And I said what's up to Brad as well, mm-hmm. and I shook his hand. And nothing, there was no ill will, no ill like nothing. But when we shook each other's hands, we, it was kind of like a a mutual respect of, you know, you're my weight class, you know, I'm gonna see you. It's just it's it's energy you feel it, and it wasn't anything bad, nothing negative. I was like, okay, then I want to fight this guy, and that was it. And after the fight, it kind of got, um, uh, I think it's been offered to us. I'm not sure. I don't know if I can speak on it. But, yeah, if, if that goes down, then that will be three for three, where I kind of subconsciously pick my opponents before my, my fights in the UFC. So, yeah, it's never anything bad, like negative, like, oh, it was an altercation or whatnot, or me throwing a trolley at a bus or some shit. <laughs> but, <laughs> but listen, I would fight. And he had a knockout as well, so good on him. He had, a, he had a nice finish that night. I think his first finish in a long time. And he's been in the UFC in a long time. So, yeah, he's he's, he's, he's not a really big name, but he's a bit of a name. He's, I think he's in top 15 as well. So, yeah, he's got a ranking. Give me him. Give me him and let me, t- you know. And also, um, I was saying, his 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 trainer, Ray Sefo, he's a legend, living legend. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, and he's a guy that came up <laughs> from under my trainer's trainer. We're from the same school. The lineage of um, of striking, so yeah, he he can put his student against, you know, Eugene putting me up against, you know, it's like coach versus coach, mm-hmm. student versus student, and we'll see who the superior striker is. Oh no, so fuck that, superior fighter is. This is mm-hmm. MMA, but um, if he wants to go toe to toe, I welcome him to toe. I wish a nigga would. <laughs> I wish a nigga. Would. I smell a new t shirt. How do you how do you yeah. think how do you think? <laughs> <of> <laughs> You get five percent commission there. Five percent, yes. not three. I'm giving you three percent. Oh, oh come on. on! You can't do that. You can't go down a percentage. At least, at least wait till like it's over and do it. Hey, we did marketing for the good cunt T-shirt. Remember that? That was a lot of retweets. All right, there's negotiating. <laughs> there were no percentages there. Make it seven percent. That's my yes. final offer. Seven percent commission. We'll take it. <laughs> we like it. We like it. Uh, just quickly, if that fight did go down with you and Brad, how do you think that would play out? Mm, easier than this fight. Much easier than this fight. Not trying to hype the fight. Not trying to fucking be this guy that talks shit just for fucking talking shit's sake. I'm just saying. It'll be way easier than this fight because I give Vittori credit. He was... His striking is ugly. It's just weird. It's ugly. So that's his advantage as well. His chin, his toughness, and his advantage is his is, is weird ugliness. And the fucking good thing about me, one thing I really enjoyed about myself was that I can say I did good, was able to read him and feel him whenever he threw, he threw something weird that I wasn't used to seeing from his stance, I was able to like just adapt on a split second on a drop of a dime, you know, and you can see it in that fight. There was, I was playing. And I think that's, uh, that's why one of the judges might've given it to him. Cause they, they see all these shots missing, but they don't see it. They think they're hitting sometimes and they just glam, not, not even touching, sliding past me this close. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm playing with fire. I, I'm playing in the fucking pocket sometimes. And these guys think, oh, he's getting the better of those exchanges. They don't really see what's happening. You know, you should see me. I've put my face up. He, have you seen his face after the fight? He has to wear stunner shades. He has to try and hide his face because he doesn't want to know the kind of fucking damage I put on him. So, um, yeah, this next fight with Brad, if it happens, then I, I see it going easier because I've seen that shit before many times, thousands, hundreds of thousands of times. Like, I've, I've seen... That kind of stuff. So um, he's a tough guy, you know. Uh, but yeah, it'll be easier than this fight, guarantee you. <laughs>